So I've just been informed that there's going to be a parcel dropped off at the train station any minute now for me. Oh, well, there's the train, so the parcel's going to be here soon. What on earth is it? Oh, there it is. I don't remember ordering anything. Well, let's find out. Hello fellow farmers, welcome back to another episode of Surviving Elk Mountain and if you can't see it behind me, this is what was delivered. It's Mitzi, of course it was Mitzi, she was with us in Peregola, she arrived today and she's going to be causing all sorts of chaos and mischief here on Elk Mountain. So we have no money, which is a bit of a problem, and we have no equipment, so we need to work out a way to make some money because we need to buy a tractor. So let's have a look at our options. Now we use this little bad boy in Peregola, it was Leroy's, we know what this can do, but it does come with the options of all sorts of great equipment. Again, it's small equipment, but it could help us on our budget. So this, uh, I mean, the Cedar, we know we used that one on the last one, so yeah, that could be an option. The Zeta, slightly bigger, 25 brake horsepower, nine and a half grand. Again, one of the lower options. The Massey Ferguson 100 series is a 58, I think we can make it slightly bigger with a slightly bigger engine. The McCormick International, uh, another one, but it's 70 brake horsepower, so slightly bigger, 17 grand. I'm not even going to pretend to attempt without to pronounce that one, but 39 grand is 100 brake horsepower. And for 10 grand more, there's 135 and it comes with a roof. The Agro Star is 28 grand for 143 brake horsepower, nice option. This is the one I'm thinking of though, 33 and a half thousand pounds and it's 180 brake horsepower. This technically is a medium sized tractor, but I think this is going to last us a long time. We're going to be able to do a lot with it. I think this could definitely be the one that we look to buy. So that's the option, but we have no way of making any money. So we need to find something, maybe a contract. Although, if I remember correctly, there was a chainsaw in the shelving around the back here let's have a look yeah hmm. this one doesn't seem to work what's in this box here oh hello well it is a chainsaw and it actually works this one it's a nice orange looking number but yeah this could definitely be helpful so let's go and find some trees to chop down We've got lots of land with lots of trees, so let's hopefully go find a good spot to get going. I'm thinking down near the road, maybe around the corner, uh, so it's not so far to drive, because don't forget we don't have a trailer, so we are going to have to load it onto the top of this. Yeah, loads of trees, look. Look, I mean, all of this is our land on the right-hand side here. Well, it's a little bit hilly on this side, but here looks like a good spot. Oh, you. Yeah. Okay, let's find some... Yeah, these trees look good. This is our first one that we're going to take down. So let's go with this. Okay, chop it down from there. Get rid of the stump. So, as with most of these Start From Scratch series, it's probably all going to start with wood. I'd like to get the tractor, but I think another option for us is going to be grass as well. And there is a very nice mower that I'll look at later. So let's just chop this down. Yeah, I definitely can't pick that up. Let's chop this down again. Well, I can't really pick these pieces up, so I'm just going to use the Super Strength mod just to get them loaded up for now. And I'll do the same with this one. Oh. Okay, so that is fastened on. A um, little precarious being on the roof. We'll give it a go. We'll drive carefully. Oh, if we can get back onto the road. What could possibly go wrong? Ah. Okay, so we're coming up to the sawmill now. <laughs> that happened a lot. So we're going to have to be very, very careful driving this. 
at least until we get a trailer, because the number of times I've fallen over with this. Let's get this sold. Nice. Our oh, first bit of money. Okay, so let's get this last little bit sold. But we definitely need a trailer. And I think, yep, yeah, we've definitely got enough money for one. And the trailer I've got in mind is perfect for what we need. We can afford it, so let's get it. Just park this here. And this is the one. I'm not even going to mess about. Let's just buy it. Perfect. Let's get it hitched up. This is going to make doing logs so much quicker. And we're not going to roll over all the time. So let's get this back. Shouldn't take long to get back. But this map is just incredible. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really liked Paragola. But this map just it feels like you're here. It feels like you're in the world. It's just, it's just wonderful. So let's just pull this up here. Yeah. This is going to make things so much quicker. So my idea for this series, similar to the last one, obviously we're starting from nothing, but we do need to buy a tractor. Uh, obviously look at getting the mower as well. But we've got a lot more land here, so we can definitely do a lot more. Get some animals going. Get some more logging. I'd like to buy some of the production buildings as well. But there's just so much more going on here. There's actually competition for your products, so I think this is going to make it much more of an enjoyable series for everyone. So let's get this first load back. Get this sold here at the sawmill. In fact, I'll get this sold here, but I haven't even looked at the other points that we can sell wood at, so let's just get this sold. There we go. That is much, much better. Much, much more money for essentially the same thing. But I'm just going to go and have a look, because I think there's a biogas... Over here somewhere. Yeah, hiding behind these trees here. And I believe these guys buy wood as well. In fact, they actually give more money for it. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I think that's going to be wrapping up this episode. Uh, I've got a feeling that most of the first initial episodes are going to be along the same lines, doing wood mainly, so chopping down trees, getting them sold. Uh, I try and add some sort of variety into them, but that's, you, if, if you've seen or done one of these kind of challenges before, you know what's going to happen. So if there's anything that you'd like to see us do in this series, please just put a comment down below. And again, if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, give us a subscribe as well, because it really does mean a lot to see the numbers going up. And yeah, it, it definitely makes doing these series a lot more enjoyable.
to know that you guys are enjoying it as well. But I want you guys to be a part of it as well. So if there's anything you'd like to see us do, just let me know. So as it always is, I think that's time to wrap up. And of course, we're in the kitchen. It's time for a cuppa.